Hey guys, I'm coming at you today because I wanted to talk to you about um, some things that I've noticed, especially working at home and working on a, a project that's a temporary project, virtual assignment, uh, meaning working, and most of the work is done on computer. And I just wanted to say, guys, <laughs> You still can get targeted when you work from home. Don't get it twisted. Um, because I noticed it while I've been working this, this you know, little project, program, or whatever. It's only, it's, it's a short-term, you know, project. But I notice how they place these people in systems. And they call it quality assurance. And they have them staring at you your whole eight hour shift you know what I'm saying on the webcams because when you're sitting there you have a you have a camera that looks that's pointed in your direction so they can see that you're working which is not a problem okay but then they put these people there I know they're there they have those people there but these people sit there all day and they look really creepy looking at you okay and then they can get on your line when you're talking on the phone with a customer and make all these these sounds especially if they don't feel like the conversation you're having is going in the right direction you know what i'm saying so they'll get on the phone they'll buzz the the, the phone and i feel like i'm in a fucking mk ultra project you know what i'm saying it's like they'll hiss in the line or you can hear them saying ah, you know stuff like that or they'll beep keep beeping the line so guys, just be careful. Um, you know, I think when I when I share my videos and I try to be an inspiration and I try to tell you about things, I'm not telling you to go places so you can get a harass. I'm thinking that this is such a great opportunity. I'm making some income and I'm helping others and I'm sharing my experiences. But all the while, I'm figuring it out because I'm new to the to the place I'm new so I have to figure these people out I have to start being very keen and alert like a little animal to figure out if these people are targeting me and I feel that they are okay because these people they sit there and they talk about you you can't hear what they're saying but they're talking amongst themselves they're staring at you on on the screen I mean it's really irritating but I know I'm I'm there to get the job done. I'm there to to you know encourage myself as well as encourage others to say, hey, you can do this. You can work from home. You don't have to get out of your uh, house, go out of your house, and get harassed all the time in the street with the gas lighting, that one head lighters, and then get on the job, clock in, sit at your desk, and then get targeted all again over again with these employees that you work with, coworkers. You know what I'm saying? But yet. And still, it's no matter. You're going to get targeted, guys. So what you have to do is you have to find a way where you can just tune them out, stay focused, know that you have a goal, and work on it. And your goal is to ultimately own your own business and work for yourself where you can employ others, people hopefully like you, like-minded, smart individuals, intelligent individuals who, who will want to support you, you know what I'm saying? And you give an, another person an opportunity who may be a targeted individual, but you still got to weed them out too. You still got to background check them, fact check them as well. But guys, just don't give up. That's my whole thing I wanted to talk to you about. Don't give up. Don't let these creeps, these pedophiles, because yes, pedophiles have high paying jobs and are in place in high positions. Okay. I don't know. Why we just we get numb to the fact that we just think these pedophiles are just old homeless people? No, these motherfuckers are on these high paying jobs. They they are the ones who are getting these, um, a hundred thousand dollars a year jobs, twenty to uh to forty dollars an hour jobs. You know what I'm saying? To be in control or ahead over people like targeted individuals, TIs, enlightened individuals. You know, chosen ones. So, guys, just stay alert, stay focused, stay prayed up. Make sure you keep reading your scriptures. You know, even if you haven't, I'm 
for one, I haven't been in the Bible reading my scriptures as, as I should, but I know where I need to go when I need help. Okay, and I am in tune with the spirit. I know when they're trying to tell me something, I am trying, I am listening, okay? Because best believe me, I know um, the spirit warns us sometimes. And if you ever hear a little knock at your door and those, but nobody's there, it may be your angel trying to tell you something is, you need to be paying more, a real attention to something. It might be just a little warning, nothing really destructive. It could be just something that just wants you to just, be aware, you know what I'm saying? Get prepared, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Because these demons, they're trying to come after you. So guys, stay blessed, stay peaceful, stay loving, stay vigilant, stay strong. If you have to fight, fight them to protect yourself. Do whatever you need to do. Read your Bible. Get on your knees. Ask God for your strength, health, protection. And always, 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 always speak up, step up for the good. Okay, guys? Take care.